Welcome everyone. Welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys running tarot readings for only the signs requested. Okay, so if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you got to be my subscriber. You got to hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know. All right, so um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you're going to have a good Valentine's Day. I'm going to start with a five card spread just to get a general overview of what's going on in your love life. And hopefully this goes better than <laughs> your opposite sign cancer that I just did because they had so many cards fall out. Yeah, let's, let's keep it orderly, Capricorn. I, th I think your energy is good with that. Yeah, the, the Cancer was just all over with this deck. But um, not Capricorn, no. Y'all are going to be neat and tidy and orderly, right? Fingers crossed. Okay. Let's get a clear message for Capricorn with their love life. One more shuffle I'm going to cut. Just saw that Ace of Swords. I think it was in the upright, though. And again, your opposite had it in the reverse. So might want to look at your opposite sign. Just a thought because there might be some mirroring going on. All right. But I am seeing with the two of wands in reverse. <coughs> excuse me. Some of you are dealing with um, partnership issues where there's been some delays, some setbacks. Um, some of you are just playing it safe. Some of you um, are, you know, not getting involved with somebody because you just, you, there's maybe a fear of the unknown, like, where is this going to go? I don't know if this is going to go anywhere where it's going. So somebody here is not drawing close. They're not really uh, making plans for the future. They're just trying to play it safe because I don't think they, they either don't see where this is they're just they're just you know not not planning something out or they're afraid of planning something out that it's it's not ultimately going to work out for them somebody might be afraid of actually really uniting with somebody else like they're afraid of losing themselves in this relationship and for that reason they're not getting involved and with a high priestess this is a main issue here somebody is um either waiting on another person to become available or, and to give it their all, or they're in some kind of secret clandestine relationship. If you're in a relationship and there, you know, there's not any kind of, you know, secrecy going on um, in terms of, I don't really, we'll see if this, if we get any affairs here, but I'm just going to say, if you are in a relationship right now, it's almost like the two of you are not opening up about feelings. There's some kind of holding back, waiting there's there's reserve here with this okay in the past it looks like um somebody was trying to drop some burdens um maybe there was some one-sided give and take in this relationship there it wasn't fair uh somebody maybe got burned out of this relationship or they just didn't want to be responsible again going back to that at the foundation if you are dealing with somebody who's got a fear of getting involved I think they're afraid of responsibility, or they have been in the past. Now, in the future, lovely energy, Queen of Chalices, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a very wonderful energy indicating that, you know, there is somebody here in this dynamic that is really like an ideal wife-mother type of energy, very empathic, very loving, very healing. And this is somebody, frankly, that um, you would want to plan a future with, okay? If you want to plan a future with anyone, it's with this person, okay? So we'll see where that's going. Oh, well, you know, at the foundation here, you got four of swords. And, you know, in this deck, this is a self-service card. So I don't, I don't see the two of you coming together, whether it's that 
or that or that or that. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, not coming together, solitude, solitude, taking care of yourself, if you know what I mean. Somebody is not wanting to share in responsibility, yet somebody here is offering so much love. What the heck? This can also just generally in tarot be about somebody being really passive, not taking action, not speaking up. Some of them might have a health issue. Sometimes that can be a health issue, all right? Oh, I don't like that. Ace of Wands in reverse. Well, it's, it's really indicating to me that there's some kind of missed opportunity here. Um, somebody just like this loses steam, loses passion. Somebody probably gets turned off here because it's like... Where is this going? You've got somebody here afraid to get involved, afraid of responsibility, and you got another person here offering up so much love, maybe waiting, waiting for this. But this, how you, that's not going to take off. And I'm seeing it in the outcome. I'm sorry to say, some of you might have a, had a false start with somebody. And again, the false start might have been that this relationship began in secret. And you thought, well, this is going to maybe go somewhere, but somebody ends up getting rejected here or turned off because that's really not fair. I I'm going to clarify that. I, I feel bad for this woman deserves so much more than that. Who is this queen of chalices? Looks like there's been some anger here and I, and I feel rightly so, honestly. Um, this person maybe now suddenly has loss of faith and confidence in themselves and this relationship. Uh, maybe they thought they saw something really clearly like this was worth waiting for, but now it's like in the near future. Um, gosh, anything else? Anything else about that Queen of Chalices? So much emotion, my gosh. But again, I'm getting hidden stuff here as well. Okay, so I think suddenly, this is such a loving person, and, and now suddenly this other person has caused them to doubt themselves, to feel maybe insecure about their romantic life, their love life, their love nature. Very sad, very sad. And it doesn't have to be a water sign. It's whoever in this dynamic was showing up with so much love and this other person is just like running for the hills because oh my god what if I get involved or oh god I don't want to have to be responsible you know it's <sighs> tell me more about this uh high priestess please I'm feeling that one oh god is some woman waiting waiting do you see she's waiting on that love to come in wait broke the gate Mm-hmm. Waiting and wanting. Waiting and wanting. And I'm getting this longing, longing type of energy. It's so sad. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Um, somebody may be uh, waiting on a message to come in to let them know w what direction are we going to go in with this relationship. Where is this headed? Uh, what is this Ten of Wands in reverse about? Secrets. And I saw it over here and here. You know, if if this is not somebody actually being secretive, it's just that they had so much reserve. They were not really speaking up about the heaviness that they felt. Yeah. And, you know, it has to do with making an important decision involving an important person please tell me more about this four of swords please tell me more about this four of swords very clearly here it is yep making a decision somebody really um you know i just heard playing it safe okay they had a choice to make and i'm seeing a choice over here as well um they might have had two options okay and they were really contemplating and laying low um I'm getting for some of you, it was, you know, um, am I going to focus on my work or relationship or um, uh, 
this can also be a like a trickster type of energy okay it, it might be work related choices about work okay but it could also be somebody was like a tricky ricky all right um and they're contemplating what is their next little sneaky move what choice do they want to make next to be really sneaky and lay low um I, I don't like this i'm already getting just a bad like really bad like this is somebody very low vibrational this is somebody who just doesn't care about people. I'm sorry to say they might wear a mask like they do, but deep down what's more important to them is um, themselves and in terms of, you know, just being a free bird, a free agent and avoiding responsibility, um, sneaking around. I'm, I don't know, again, if this was... I don't know why I'm hearing backdoor relationship. I gotta look that up. I don't even know what that means, but I'm being told to look that up because I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, oh my God. So listen, I have gone down a rabbit hole. Um, I had to like step away and look this up and read about it because I don't know what it is and I heard it. Backdoor relationship. This is so intriguing to me. I'm thinking I might even make a whole video about this. Let me say for you in this video. This is what I'm getting out of it. It goes back to the spread. Sweet Jesus, my gosh. This person, somebody here, try to get involved in a casual relationship where they could just kind of come and go out the back door as they pleased. And you know what? Might have started out where they were being like honest with you like hey you know lowering your expectations um we're just enjoying each other uh let's have a good time let's be in the moment let's live in the now you know what I, you know what i'm talking about okay um but they were kind of um doing that in a way to you know get you to lower your standards let them in and or at least the other person here. And the other person might have actually consented to this, thinking that at some later date, they could segue into a committed relationship. Maybe feelings would develop between the two of you, and you could make this into something more than you initially agreed upon. Uh, wrong. This person never intended for this to become anything more than it was from the get-go. Um... And that's what I'm seeing here. And I think that that's why this is the outcome with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands in reverse. Please tell me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> both looking at each other, the, the feminine and the masculine energy. But he's not, you know, he's not, he's not getting it up for her anymore, basically. It's like she's waiting She's looking at him, waiting, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to move this forward? What direction are we going in? You know, it's, it's a general reading. So, you know, it might, it might be the other way around that she's holding back information and making him wait. Somebody here is getting rejected. Somebody here is, um, has lost their passion. Maybe they've gotten turned off. I'm seeing it associated with this man. And I'm definitely seeing there's been a false start involving him. Like, can't get this off the ground. Cannot get this off the ground. And again, it's because somebody here has a fear of getting involved. A fear of responsibility. Um, and it might be what other people think. What do other people think of me? Somebody maybe decided to take a risk, take a chance, you know, in this union. And they thought, maybe maybe I'll actually win. Maybe this will develop into something more. But, I mean, really, at the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it goes nowhere. Because... Um, this person, this is some, this is some stuff. I, I honestly, you know, if, if you're a Capricorn male and you're like, no, that's, that, that's this woman. I apologize. All right. It is a general reading though. Okay. So you got to take it how it applies. But given the layouts, 
the layout of the cards, it, it appeared that the woman was being put on hold waiting. It appeared the feminine energy was coming in with the love. It appeared that the man was missing the opportunity, got turned off, rejected somebody here. And the cards are telling me the rejection is all about, you know, I don't, I don't want to get involved. I don't want somebody, I don't want to be responsible for somebody else, a relationship. I don't want somebody to be dependent upon me and not to be a male basher, but you know, we've got a lot of people now that are counter dependent. I'm not talking about codependency. I'm talking about counter dependency. They're, they are uh, relationship adverse, commitment adverse. They are love phobic. Because they don't have the internal security to offer that to another person. That's why they're repelling like, yeah, I can't be this person to you because I don't have it within myself. I can't even be it to myself. I'm going to be it to you. But because people are not very self-aware, they don't really understand where that is coming from. The underlying motive. Because if people were really honest with themselves, they'd be like, yeah, I actually do want a relationship. I do want a partnership. Are you kidding me? I want to be loved. I want a life partner, you know? When we get to the point where we don't want that, it's because there's something, so, something's off, okay? Something is unhealed. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. It's a general theme here. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, one night stand, oh my gosh, seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, <laughs> temptation, third party interference. I'm sorry, this this is not a loyal person, okay? They, they got some baggage, all right? And they might do this over and over and over again. They might be um, going from, you know, one hookup to another. Because it's all about their happiness and how do they get it. But, you know, you've actually, they're encountering people who are actually coming in with their hearts. And what they're doing is really painful to people. Absolutely. And this is a lot of people that this is going on with. It's just so they can get their happiness. This is a, you know, a very seductive person or a seductress. If you have not encountered this, I'm just going to say, be aware of it, okay? Um, we've, got, we've got a lot of lonely people out there, a lot of broken people out there. And people, you know, they um, confuse sex for love <clears throat> and um, it's just like this is how they this is how they do it reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life anything else anything else getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens uh, frankly this going back to the whole back door relationship thing that came up um, and I'm getting this over here. This person, I don't know, they keep coming back around. They keep sliding in the back door. It's real casual, real casual, but you need to actually, <laughs> you know, maybe if you're sleeping with them, take, take a moment before or after you have the sex to talk to them and find out, you know, exactly why, why are you doing this? What, what do you get out of this loveless sex? What's in it for you? What are you trying to avoid? You got a lot of cards that came out here. Free yourself. Mm -hmm. Codependency. Let your friends help. Healing family issues. Engagement. Deception. It's not what it seems. Okay? And again, I'm, I'm getting some. It's going back to this person might come in like they're being so honest with you of... You know, hey, listen, I just really, you know, right now, I just want to enjoy you. And, and it just sounds so good, doesn't it? <laughs> let's, let's just enjoy each other. Can we just do that? Like, I, I've got a lot of stress going on in my life. And, uh, you know, can we just have fun and just, you know, see where this goes type of thing? Um, but 
but honestly, there's something more going on there. there. There's an agenda, all right? And the agenda is that there's 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 dependency issues of either either there's codependency or there's um, independent behavior, like hyper independent type of behavior. This is not a healthy uh, uh, interdependency. Okay, this is somebody who's like counter dependent or codependent. Um, they're and, and and you know they're just going to extremes. They're not trying to figure out how to master this issue in their life of finding healthy interdependency. They're not doing it. But I think that if you sit down and have a heart to heart with them, you, you're going to figure this out that the reason why they've got all these limits are holding back on the relationship that might make you feel like you're fenced in and you need to get your freedom elsewhere. Um, you, you get to this realization of, um, oh, so that's why they're doing this, you know, and I'm basically just um, an enabler of their own little toxic pattern that they keep repeating. If it's not me, it's going to be somebody else that they're doing this with. And again, you might've been back and forth with this person coming back and forth, reconciling, and you can't ever figure out why the heck the two of you can't break out of this, this pattern, this limitation. And it's because if you will actually sit down and get to the heart of the matter and peel that mask off, you find out that this person has some some unhealed issues. They don't. They're counter dependent or codependent, or they're afraid of getting in that dynamic. <clears throat> might go back to family issues again. They might come from a background where there was a lot of exploitation going on, win lose dynamics. They're afraid of getting involved in it again. Um, some of you need to talk to some friends about this. You know. Um, but I think that through all of this, like these heart to hearts with your friends and with this person. Um, you are going to probably reconcile within yourself what you need to do, which is probably to break free of this stuff so that your love life can get to a higher level. You know, because look, the reality is, um, you know, people are where they're at because they're where they're at. I mean, um, you know, you can go as far with God as you want to go. Um, but you see, you know, it's like you, you have the, the level of truth um, that you can handle at this time, okay? And so, I mean, where they're at right now is very telling in terms of their healing process and what they're able, willing to take on. And, you know, are you are you wanting to continue? If this was you um, putting your heart out there um, and them not reciprocating, are you, are you willing to keep waiting around for them to heal or maybe never? There's that Queen of Chalices yet again. And we've got... Um, and I'm pulling cards for what they think, okay? So it looks like they want progress, you know, with this very loving, um, empathic, maybe even idealistic type of feminine energy here. Somebody is wanting, um, they might have even come in and offered what seemed to be, there's some substance to it, like, ah, oh, this is actually going to move forward here. Um, maybe slow and steady, you know, like, it, you know, but it was something, okay? But it, it almost looks like uh, this feminine energy has decided to withdraw, Again, didn't have to, um, but maybe decided, you know, I, I don't have to be alone, but I'm going to be alone because, you know, maybe that's for the best. Anything else? What is this person thinking about Capricorn? <clears throat> now we got another feminine energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries again over there. That might be a Virgo. Um Page of Cups. There's that High Priestess again. My goodness. You know, you're going to have to take this how it applies, but I'm really getting this vibe that this feminine energy, and it might be you Capricorn females, okay? Um, I get this vibe like... You're kind of can maybe holding back your emotions, all right, with this person, or you're trying to hold your emotions back. Um, they come in looking like they're offering something tangible, something real, something substantial. Like they might not, they might have even told you, well, eventually I would like to settle down. But the part they leave off is, but not with you, right? They don't tell you that because then you'll run away, right? 
Um, but they, it sounds good. Like it looks good. It looks like, and they look like maybe they're a solid person. Maybe they have a good job or something like that. It looks like in some way, this is really going to advance you. Yet I feel the feminine energy feels it's definitely on an emotional level. This person feels emotionally unsupported. It's like, look, I got an opportunity here with this person, yet I don't feel supported here. I don't feel like this person is actually my friend or um, I'm, I'm feeling isolated. I'm feeling alone in this offer that's been brought to me. And so somebody here is just going to take their power back and, you know, clean the slate and start with something new. But I think deep down privately, there's a lot of sorrow and regret there with that page of cups and might even communicate. Somebody might even say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just can't even open up to this. I, and again, I'm seeing with the, the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups, there's a lot of emotional sensitivity around this person. But I feel like, um, and, and again, with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, very feminine, receptive energy, very intuitive energy. But I'm seeing this reserve with the High Priestess and the Hermit in reverse. Like, they know something and they know that it's probably best to just keep to themselves. I don't know if there's another female here or if that's their energy. We'll see as it goes, as the reading goes, but um, could be in, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or simply somebody just getting, you know, starting to get their confidence back and saying, no, I'm going to go it alone. I'm going to take a leap of faith on my own. You know, that's just, you know, deep down there's some kind of regret that this didn't work out. And really, I mean, this person has got a lot, a lot of feels. Feminine energy, a lot of feels. And I saw it with these Lenormand cards as well. A lot of feelings. And, and you know, honestly, when I pulled, when I pulled uh, clarifiers over here... I felt bad. Y'all remember. Excuse me, my voice has not been good for me. I had to get a, a drink of tea. Yeah, I felt I felt like a lot of um, empathy for that. Whoever's the Queen of Cups here, I felt sorry for her. And that, like I said, it could be you Capricorn females. <clears throat> All right, but showing up for Capricorn is, you know, well, it's a stalemate. Um, maybe you're not, you're not looking at something. You're not opening up to something. You're just like, uh, nope. Um, this is quite a contrary message because I see so, I feel so much emotion over here with this person, but over here I'm getting some kind of blocked emotions. Um, maybe because somebody needed to make a decision or choice. I saw that earlier, but they um, they don't want to make a decision. It's just too difficult. So, you know, I'm just not going to do anything about it is really the answer. Seven of Swords, something is not fair in the exchange. Something is not equal. Somebody may have outright lied, you know, been sneaking around, been unfaithful, trying to get over on somebody else. Oh, with a lot of people, a lot of people, okay? Um, if this was not having a lot of options and kind of sneaking around and lying and cheating, um, and somebody didn't really want to like look at the emotional damage that they're doing to people by using them, having usury relationships, it's almost like they were just in, somebody's in some kind of fantasy land here about this. You're just not seeing the truth of the matter clearly of what they're doing to themselves and to other people. It's like they don't they don't see how they're inflicting damage upon themselves and others sexually or relationally or intimately, you know, like it's there's the Queen of Cups again. Over there and over there. Um, they might, again, I, I see some kind of fantasizing and idealizing this, this feminine energy. 
but somebody is not being grounded at all about it and they're just trying to get over on it. I, I don't like it. Whoa. All right, that came in the reverse. <clears throat> Well, I mean, ego. Ego has really um, taken taken a hold of somebody here. And you might think that of them, that, you know, they're full of themselves to try to do this to people. It's like a lot of excessive pride. And um, it's almost like somebody here, though, has fallen from grace. There's a lack of respect. I keep saying, like, there's somebody is just, like, trashing their own sexuality. Um, and the sexuality of others. And it's not just on a physical level. It's a metaphysical level. It's on an emotional, spiritual level. And they don't see very clearly how they're doing that. And it's coming from a place of ego and pride. This person, somebody might have confidence issues. And this is what they do to artificially boost their sense of confidence or their sense of significance or meaning in life is, oh, look at me, I get attention from all these prospects. Uh, look at who I can bag. You know what I'm saying? But they're not getting the recognition that they need or want really at the end of the day. Maybe have fallen from grace. Yes, there's a karmic lesson here about win, lose, um, arrangements where right these are not these are not win-win scenarios <clears throat> well let's let's get into the feelings since this person has so many feelings what are their feelings i'm kind of almost done saying that that's capricorn um because i feel kind of mixed about it I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm just going to be honest with you. As an empath, something is getting blurred here. And, and, and you're going to have to tell me in the comments down below. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on this, but yeah, this person feels really insecure, really inadequate. Goodness, look at all these feelings. Longing, disgusted, shy, comforted, fulfilled. So, this is really um, what I'm getting out of this is that maybe in the connection at some point, they did feel fulfilled, satisfied, at peace. At some point, um, this relationship made them feel reassured and comforted. And even if they didn't, if that never happened, they're longing for it. This person is longing to join their cup, to meet their match, their king of cups. I mean, king of cups has not even showed up here at all, at all. Where is this person's counterpart? Nowhere on this spread. I'm sorry to say. And now because their cup is not being matched, they're pulling back, right? That shyness I saw with the, um, you know, hermit in reverse of I'm going to withdraw. Look at the reserve, introversion, timidity. I'm not going to really put my feelings out there. Um, because now I'm made, being made to feel like, uh, what, I don't deserve better than this. I'm not worth more than this to you. Um, and then there's a feeling of disgust, I think. And then look at the repelled, repelled. And I kind of saw that repelled with uh, this as the, the outcome of somebody like rejecting the, the sexual opportunity. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? Stressed. Stressed. What else? What else does Capricorn feel? Or whoever this person is. Embarrassed? Happy? Really? Anything else? Peaceful? Oh god. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you the honest to God truth. Like honestly, I feel I think this is my trouble that I'm having, okay? I do sense that this is you, but I don't wanna believe it's you, Capricorn. Okay. But it doesn't matter about what I want to believe. That's that's when I start getting my intuition jacked with and I get derailed. You know, we, we have to strip away that I want to believe the best in you. Obviously, yes, for some of you, this is you. You brought this love. And I'm going to say that Capricorn, to me, and I'm just going to say, usually my Capricorn audience, very solid, steady, trustworthy people. 
um, reserved, not emotionally messy. Um, but again, l l l let's be honest here. I probably have some cross watchers. Um, Capricorn is represented by the devil card in tarot, which represents temptation, usury type of relationships, bondage. The Capricorn motto is I use, I didn't make this up, look it up. Every sign has a motto. I'm Aquarius. My motto is I know, <laughs> I know, all right? Capricorn is I use, all right? So, I mean, am I saying that you use this person? I don't want to say that. I don't want to believe that of you. I want to believe the best. And I think I've had even my male Capricorn viewers have come on here and this is what they embody. Not this. But I got to go with it. The cards are telling me that the more I flush this out, the more the cards are telling me that, that this is, in fact, you. That, that, that you got into some kind of usury relationship. Um, again, take it how it applies. But, I mean, look at, the, look at these emotions. Why are you getting stressed out? Is this person longing for something out of you that you don't want to give? Why? Because there's something about them that is, you know, you're embarrassed, right? Going back to um, uh, this, what do other people think? What would other people think about me being with them or having a sexual relationship with them? Or, whoa, I'm getting called out on my shit. I was just trying to have a happy time here. Here we go again with a backdoor relationship and the driver in this situation of... I just want to get my rocks off. Let's have a good time. What's the problem with that? Why do we have to be so serious about it? Right? This is somebody who, you know, no offense. They just want to get their enjoyment and entertainment and get on to the next. But now they're not so sure. Well, why are you not sure? Oh, because somebody's coming in with their cup of love. And oh, wow, that's a little bit more than what I was wanting to do. Okay? Again, take it how it applies. Sorry if y'all feel like I'm calling some of y'all out on your stuff. You know, and maybe you got a good reason for it. Maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to give you, again, benefit of doubt. Maybe you, you told this person up front that this was just temporary, that this wasn't serious, and now they want to make it into something more. You feel like home to me. Oh, my gosh. That's what they think of you. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. Something is still missing for me, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Well, that's probably why they've withdrawn. You know, maybe maybe this person, again, the two of you had an understanding agreement up front about what this relationship was and wasn't, and now it's evolved into something <clears throat> that um, you never intended. They, they're pulling back. I mean, I'm seeing that with the, um, this might be a secret relationship. I'm going to say that also. Again, like clandestine relationship where, um, going back to that, that garden card, it's like, this is not something you're not going to enter. Do you have no intention or they have no intention of introducing you to the friends and family? This is not somebody that they want to like, have a public relationship and that's really hurtful to this other person and maybe it's like I know you're right maybe the two of you agree I'll need to keep it on the DL but at the same time I think it's triggering something within this person some insecurities what about Capricorn what's Capricorn thinking or whatever this other person is I still love you you do care about this person. I'm more affected than you know. Yeah, but I mean, come on now. Uh, this is not very loving. Not very loving at all. Come on now. What kind of love is this? Like, I love you like a brother. <laughs> I love you like you're my sister. Like, what is that? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I don't get that. I'm reminded of you constantly. Eh. I mean, the two of you think of each other a lot. I want to see what's a shadow energy here. I because I don't know what that grass is greener on the other side. Like trying to do things, like they try to do things in private to get happiness and peace, 
but then now they've got a whole nother problem to deal with. They've got to deal with, oh my God, you know, what are people going to think of this? Or, oh, wait a minute. Now you're want, you're, you're expecting more. You're expecting more of me. Hold up. I, I don't know if I can go for that. Scorned. Oh yeah. You're now you're getting pissed off at me because I'm not giving you more or, or other people are going to be pissed off at me because I gave you more. I don't know. This is like a vengeful. Holy crap. Childish. Well, I'm seeing the childishness with those pages coming up. I mean, come on. Love a little. Like, more than that. I, I, don't, I don't mean to talk down, you know, but it's like somebody's saying they love you, but it's like, or you're saying you love somebody, but my God, go deeper please because what i'm seeing here is this page of cups I can do better than this somebody's coming in as queen of cups and they're being answered with a page of cups uh-uh where's the king of cups let's let's step it up a few notches i don't know that's just me as an outsider looking in fixated <clears throat> foolish i really feel like somebody just was playing around here okay this, this start out as child's play, fun and games, happy times, blah, blah, blah. And now somebody's, you know, gotten really fixated on it and now getting angry. Angry because they're not getting what they really want out of the arrangement. The other person getting angry um, because they, um, they're being asked to give more than they agree to. They're being asked to change basically the terms of the agreement. <clears throat> what does this person want? What does this other person want? <sighs> mm. <gasps> Ooh. Well, we've got the Queen and King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is a lot of passion, okay? Um, they want unhindered passion, um, particularly coming from a masculine energy I'm seeing there with the emperor, maybe an Aries um, is relevant. They want somebody to like get control over this. They want somebody to be responsible, pull their weight, um, and take dominion over an issue where, you know, perhaps... There's been uh, competition or conflicting emotions uh, having to do with romantic dating life. They want somebody to like really step up, boss up. Boss up here is what I'm seeing. And match them in their passion for this, this relationship. Take dominion over whatever the heaviness is or the conflicting feelings or the competition going on, you know, with their love life. They want somebody to really take dominion over this and offer, go, I don't even, you know, honestly, it, I kept complaining about where's the king of, of um, chalices, and I don't even see that they're asking for it. I see they're like, okay, can we go from page to night? Can we do that? Can you stop just talking nice to me and all of that? Can we move it up to you're actually romancing me? You're actually um, charming me, you know? Um they're not even asking for that king of chalices. What they need is something that is secure and stable that they can trust. And I'm definitely going to say this is, seems to be the feminine energy for me, okay? Um, and, you know, that's just a core value system for most women, right? There's always exceptions. But most women value stability and security in relationships yes there are some gold diggers out there because it's gotten twisted it's gotten perverted you know that value system they've mistaken money for right this is going beyond this is being provided for being protected um with you know somebody who actually is coming in like a boss and holding it holding it down holding it together okay this person needs stability security they got a lot of emotions and maybe wanting a lot more sex and passion here 
but what they really need is somebody they can trust. And I'm sorry, this other person does not seem trustworthy. They're kind of out for themselves and they're trying to skirt around an issue that they have with being codependent or counterdependent. When spirit is trying to get them to come in and learn a lesson about being interdependent. Yeah, you do need romance. You need a romance and a love that you can you can trust. And that progresses you forward materially. You need somebody who comes in and brings you something solid. More solid than feelings or passions that can be fickle and flighty. You need something really tangible here that you can put down roots with, okay? I mean, yeah, I definitely see a need for love here, but whoever this person is, you 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 need to have you need to find love with somebody who can be trusted and is going to be solid. And I think that somebody's not really looking at that. Yeah, and look, an emotional connection. And I'm sorry to say, but there's been a lack of that. And there's a reason why. You can't get emotional security with this person because they're not emotionally secure within themselves. And they're not even working on it, as far as I can tell. Okay. There's an emotional immaturity, if anything. Let's see what's going on for this person over here. I don't even want to call it Capricorn, but hey. Um, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What does this person want? <laughs> oh, God. So telling you. It was just like, really? Come on. All right. You, you don't care. It's like, you don't care. Whoever this person is like, oh God, I hate to hate on Capricorn, but this is not looking good. Some of you want to break. If you're in a marriage, you want to break up of that. Like you're done. You're done with this marriage. Um, you don't give a damn. It's a broken home, broken marriage. You want out of it. You don't have, you don't share emotional values for others of you. If you're not married, you're just like not there. You don't really care about whether or not your emotional needs are in alignment with the other person. It's just not on your radar. Well, you want to make progress. There's that darn page of cups again. Oh, some of you, um, again, is, are you the one trying to come back and reconcile and say, I'm sorry, because you're trying to avoid some kind of fallout. You're trying, or whoever this person is, like you want to get progress. You don't want things to end. Um, somebody's sorry and regretful about it. They just want to get forward movement with whatever their thing is, but um, maybe it's leaving a marriage behind, uh, a home situation behind. Um, others of you, um, you just want to move on with somebody. You don't really care too much about their emotional values and needs versus yours and how those things might be incompatible or in conflict. It's almost like you just come in and try to smooth it over and like, yeah, can we just move forward with this? Can we go move on? And unfortunately, there's kind of um, in this apology, there's somebody putting their back to the reality that this thing is not built on a solid foundation. Like it's, it's probably a fallout that's inevitable. If this is resonating, let me know because I'm starting to like wonder if I've done too many readings at, at this point. <laughs> All right. Um, what you need is to take some decisive action. You need to think and communicate clearly about what is going to be offered. <clears throat> A lot of knights and pages here. Um, getting this sharp contrast where, you know, well, let me see what else comes up before I speak and say that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where did that come up before? That was the last card over here, and it's a synchronicity. Here's the last card. You need to deal with this, give and take in relationships, these win-win uh, dynamics, okay? Like entering into um, arrangements where, um, you know, both of you are not going to win, right? Because you're coming in with disregarding the fact that their emotional needs are not in alignment with yours and vice versa, or there's a refusal to get into alignment. There's a refusal here for people to acknowledge and accommodate the emotional needs of one another. Okay. 
this person very much needs emotional connection, but I'm seeing disconnection over here. And it's almost like a disregard for it. And, you know, ultimately that, that ends in these type of scenarios where everybody ends up losing, okay? Because that's not being addressed. Coming in and really getting to know that person, right? Back to this advice. Getting to know, well, what do you emotionally need out of a relationship? What do I need out of a relationship? Am I going to be able to help you win and get what you need out of it? As you're helping me win and get what I need out of it? No. Wow, maybe we shouldn't do this. Because I can see where this is headed, right? That's something that you need to... Um, th this is a lot about communications and taking decisive action on this issue of win-lose arrangements. Again, because people have different value system emotionally. And it almost looks like you want to plow past it or ignore it. But what you need to do is address it head on with in word and deed. <sighs> what is a love advice here? Well, that just fell out. Slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take time to allow things to unfold. Yeah, that's about getting to know people. Like, if this was a backdoor relationship, I just don't think that the time was made for this. So maybe you didn't know. You never really got to know that person or they didn't get to know you on this level to understand that the two of you have different Emotional needs may be conflicting emotional needs. And then maybe this was not something you needed to invest your, your energy into. Some people, they, they kind of, um, you know, will concede to one of these like backdoor relationships, these casual relationships, because they're tired of being alone, you know. And um, these are vulnerable people and, not, and they shouldn't be preyed upon, okay. But that's something like that needs to get... If you talk to people and you start understanding, you know, that this is not somebody to be toyed with. They have a lot of emotions. Um, maybe coming across as needy. Maybe coming across as codependent. But if you are, like, mirroring that with counter-dependency, holy crap. You're just, you're asking for a fight. You're asking for a showdown. It's never going to end well. Anything else for Capricorn? Romance. You know, I saw it over here. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Honesty is essential. It's going back. Lay it out on the table. What are your emotional needs? Are they incompatible? This card says to be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Um, I'm going to say this, you know, that, and I, and I hesitated to say it before. I'm going to go on and follow through and say it now. Over here, a lot of pages and knights. Over here, a lot of kings, okay, queens. And I think that's where the incompatibility is coming in because somebody is bringing in this so much love, so much love. This is a very high vibrational energy. And whoever this person is, Capricorn or not, immature, low vibrational, sorry, I don't want to put it on you, Capricorn. Take it how it applies. Um, but we see where the imbalance is. And I, you know, I, I hope that if this is you, you get somebody to match you on your level. If this is you, I hope you level up. All right. Till next time, I'm wishing you all the best. Be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I want to talk to you guys about private readings. Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here.
Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months. And they want to know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do sinistry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options at play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and I'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people. Again, what are the strengths and weaknesses of either person? Who should you go with? Or on the should I stay or should I go? Um, this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision, you know, what's going to happen if I stay versus what's going to happen if I go. And um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for, but um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> you've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading. If you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within, um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously, I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, know I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology. We can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownedones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.